We had received an email from the YMCA, and the Y was looking for summer volunteers. I began to think about this, and in relation to the other immersions, there were immersions that were in Europe, immersions that were in uh, the Philippines. We have so many issues right here in our own country that people have neglected. So I just thought, we really need to do something. A lot of groups focus on service work, and they want to be um, getting involved and helping. And that's not necessarily the model we're looking for. It's more about cultural immersion and exposure. And USC has been really good at challenging us to think more creatively and expand our capabilities. The potential collaboration that I think can happen from this engagement that's been happening with all the people that we've met, them seeing what we might be able to offer even at, from a distance, whether it's grant writing or just resources or just keeping that communication. When you're trying to work with a community and a native population like this and a lot of outsiders coming in, it's all about developing that relationship and they see that we too are just trying to learn but we are also saying how can we help. It takes the students out of their comfort zone in Southern California and to experience something very different. And you wouldn't get that from reading a book or watching a movie, do you know what I mean? I think to come here to, to meet people, to live with the people, to experience what it's like, it's, it's just very different from where most of the students are coming from. So I think to have the experience is really important for the students. It is uh, very important for our tribe to uh, offer uh, opportunities for immersion and what I hope uh, students get out of this experience is that they're, they'll be able to to find uh, maybe satisfaction in enjoying what they do or choose to do and maybe helping people or, or finding help for people. I think immersion programs are deeply important. The experience of making yourself uncomfortable, uh, stretching yourself, challenging yourself, is so crucial to the work and there's no growth if we don't challenge ourselves in this way and put ourselves in situations where we don't know all the things. We, we uh, need to be learners, we need to be observers, we need to listen. You get such a more rich experience interacting with the locals and learning the customs and definitely opens your eyes to a bigger world than what you see just in the literature. So I definitely recommend this. Social worker is about connection. This experience, this immersion, provided me the opportunity to do that, whether it's with the elders or the children or uh, people providing services here. I've been able to connect with them, and it feels really good to be part of that. Coming on this immersion, especially towards the end of my, um, my academic career, it really refocused me and it reminded me that this is the type of grassroots work that I want to do. This is why I fell in love with this profession. This is why I wanted to be a social worker. 